The death of Mike Yarwood, a television comedian and well-known impersonator, was confirmed by the Royal Variety Charity. Yarwood passed away in a hospital at the age of 82. The comedian was one of the most popular faces on television in the 1960s and 1970s, thanks to his blockbuster shows on BBC. He was particularly well-known for his impressions of former prime leaders Harold Wilson and Ted Heath, as well as Prince Charles and the late football manager Brian Claw. The Christmas Day audience of 21.4 million people that watched the Mike Yarwood show in 1977 was one of the largest ever for a British television program on any given Christmas Day. The Royal Variety Charity expressed its profound sorrow upon hearing the news of his passing noting that he leaves behind an immeasurable void in the entertainment industry. It went on to say that Mike Yarwood quickly rose to prominence for his exceptional ability to mimic the voices and mannerisms of countless celebrities and public figures, and that was the reason for his meteoric rise. His unique ability to grasp the essence of his topics made him an icon in the world of comedy, and his aptitude for impersonating others brought smiles to the cheeks of millions of people. During the 1960s and 1970s, Mike was a familiar face on televisions across the country thanks to his lengthy career in the entertainment industry. His primetime television variety series, such as The Mike Yarwood Show and Mike Yarwood in Persons, featured his remarkable skill for impersonation and enthralled audiences for more than two decades. During this extremely sad and difficult time, the family of Mike has requested that their privacy be respected. Yarwood was a lifetime follower of the Stockport County football team. He was born on June 14, 1941 in Bredbury, which is located in the Greater Manchester area. In his later years, he resided in the Brinsworth House of the Royal Variety Charity, which is located in Twickenham, southwest London. Yarwood used to say this of the notable individuals he impersonated, if I see somebody become famous, and they got tremendously predominant mannerisms, and they speak a certain way which is unusual, I go for it right away. He claimed that he was only six years old when he executed his first imitation of Billy Bunter, which consisted of shoving a cushion up his sweater and putting on a pair of spectacles to resemble him. Tim Davy, the director general of the BBC, was quoted as saying that Mike Yarwood was simply one of the greats, a member of the golden generation of entertainers whose work on television helped define the medium for decades. His famed impressions were usually spot on, kind, and hilarious. They'd ranged all the way from Harold Wilson to Frank Spencer. We shall always have a happy memory of each of them. He was justifiably one of the most beloved entertainers in Britain, and he will be missed tremendously. Our prayers and condolences are with his family at this time. On the social networking service formerly known as Twitter, the television comedian Kate Robbins wrote the following message on X. So sad to hear the great Mike Yarwood has gone. During the 1980s, I had the privilege of working alongside him. He is the master of all impressionists. Back when I was Sarah Brightman and he was Cliff Richard, we had a hard time getting anything done because we were laughing so much. I appreciate it. Mike, to me, you have always been a shining example. Emma Freud, a broadcaster with the BBC, expressed gratitude to the impersonator for permitting her to participate in one of his presentations while assuming the role of Diana, Princess of Wales. She posted on X the message, Goodbye, Mr. Mike Yarwood. I want to express my gratitude for giving me the role of Princess Diana in your presentations. Still beyond my ability to comprehend that everything took place, but you were a pleasure to collaborate with. An actor by the name of Stuart Antony paid tribute to Mike Yarwood by writing the following on X. Saddened to hear that the legend Mike Yarwood has passed away. His impressions were much better than perfection. However, he was the kindest of men and had a lot of stories to share. Rest in peace, Mike Yarwood. Ian Dale, a broadcaster on LBC, referred to Yarwood as a titan of comedy and one of the biggest stars of TV comedy in the 1970s. He said this about Yarwood. He said the following on Twitter, Today we've lost a titan of humor. Mike Yarwood was one of the biggest stars of TV comedy in the 1970s. He was the impressionist's impressionist and blazed the trail for those that followed in his wake, despite the fact that he was occasionally underappreciated.